it's Alice here. I am a doula, a childbirth educator, and I'm going to spin the big wheel of birth and see what topic we're going to talk about today. Let's do it. So important topic today, we are going to talk about, I have on here warning signs, but what I mean by that are warning signs in the third trimester of pregnancy specifically. I think it's an important topic. I like to go over it in childbirth class so that it's top of mind. So both pregnant person and support person are aware of those warning signs and can just keep an eye out for them in those last few weeks of pregnancy. So there are seven warning signs I want you to be aware of when you are in late pregnancy. So the first one and one of the most serious is a headache, especially a headache that persists and won't go away with regular pain medication, and especially if you have a headache that is associated with blurred vision. Now, this is also a warning sign that we talk about after the birth, but when you are pregnant, it is definitely something to be aware of and not just ignore like, oh, I have a headache. If it's a significant headache, or it persists, like I said, and especially if you are seeing any kind of blurred vision or spots in your vision, contact your healthcare provider immediately or seek care immediately. Another warning sign, if you are seeing a change in swelling that happens quickly, so a change overnight of swelling or within a couple hours, if you've noticed hand swelling, leg swelling, a quick increase into the amount of swelling in your body can be very significant. So that one, that that's another warning sign to be aware of. Any type of abdominal pain, like a shooting knife-like pain, and you know, I'm talking about like any of this kind of area. So abdominal pain should, you should notify a care provider and let them know. Bleeding. So this is very different from a bloody show or mucus plug. That's something that's just kind of um, spotting or light blood or mucusy blood. Bleeding like a period bleeding is a warning sign that you should seek medical help immediately. So I would go into an emergency room, call your care provider and head into an emergency room with bleeding. So a period type blood. If you have severe nausea or vomiting, that can be worrisome. Contact your healthcare provider. If you are having contractions in the beginning of your third trimester, this is a warning sign to be aware of. So not necessarily the Braxton Hicks contraction, though I would give your provider a heads up if you're feeling a lot of the Braxton Hicks, the contraction where your entire uterus is tense and then lets go. But contractions that are rhythmic, that are below the belly button, like true contractions in your third trimester, definitely need to make your care provider aware of that. If similarly, if your water breaks where you are not in the past 37 weeks, um, I mean, anytime your water breaks, definitely notify your care provider, but a warning sign would be a leak or a water break in that before 36 weeks time frame that you need to be really aware of and make sure that you let your provider know as soon as possible. The next one are flu-like symptoms. If you are feeling flu-like symptoms, that uh, achiness, the feverishness, let your care provider know as soon as possible that it could be the flu, it could be the cold, or it could be something else. So let your care provider know. This is a warning sign in the last trimester of pregnancy that you need to be aware of. And then finally is a decrease in baby's movement. So as you are to have begun starting to feel baby move, you sort of get an idea of the normal, typical level of movement during the day. You're feeling the kicks. Uh, definitely several an hour. Well, if you find if you've noticed any change in it, what I like to say is, first of all, stop what you're doing. It takes, it, eat something that's sugary, some kind of chocolate or juice that is going to get the sugar right to the baby and usually wakes up a baby and count the movements. If you're finding that the movements are different than what they used to be, and they've slowed down, please notify your care provider immediately because this is something that they're gonna to wanna to check out. So a decrease in fetal movement over just a normal, what is normal for your baby. So 
the all of these warning signs I'll list them down below just so that you can take a quick glance at them as well and give a link to more information but as you are ending that last trimester of pregnancy please be aware of these make sure that you're taking care of yourself you're not ignoring any kind of symptoms uh, for the best health of you and for your baby Thanks for joining me today. Leave some comments if you have questions about these warning signs or anything else you want to share. And I hope to see you guys next time on the Big Wheel of Birth. Thanks for joining me. Bye.